I realized Ben and Dan, who were the, the founders, had a very different approach, a, a very different point of view on, on business, on building a brand um, than, than most people do. And, um, and they were in it for the long haul. Um, they cared about things that other, you know, other people didn't seem to care about. Like they wanted to, they were interested in building a brand and having a connection with their customers and, and having a point of view. Um, and that was, that was intriguing to me. I had no, I got to MailChimp with no marketing experience at all, but I thought, um, but they gave me a chance. Ben just had this sort of uh, guerrilla warfare sort of approach to business forever. He was like, um, you know, we, we're, there's no way we can compete with, mail, with, with Constant Contact on their terms. You know, we can't outspend them because we don't have a budget. So like, let's just sort of change the rules. Let's do something completely uh, sort of different than them. And so instead of, you know, putting all of our meager budget into a sort of traditional campaign, he said, why don't we, you know, make shirts? Why don't we do something social? Why don't we try to create an organic sort of uh, buzz for MailChimp in a way that actually connects with people um, as a way to sort of help promote and celebrate the fact that we now have this free plan, anyone can use it, you can use it forever, you can, you know, we can help you build your business without you having to spend a dime. And so that was sort of a, um, that was my first experience with this, uh, this approach to marketing, was like, why don't we, why don't we just try it a little bit differently? And, and not just be different, but like, let's put a tremendous amount of care into into that work. That, that was another really, really important uh, sort of foundational uh, part of the, the, the brand uh, sauce at MailChimp was like, we're gonna, we're gonna give away shirts, but like, let's think about every single detail. Let's, let's get the best shirt that we can get. Let's, you know, print it with water-based ink so that it like, you know, will age really well and be super soft and, and, um, and let's package it in a really beautiful way. And, and, and all of those details, um, I think, contributed to helping us uh, build a brand that people connected to. Because as a, as a digital brand, one of the things that can be challenging is that um, we, don't, we don't exist in the real world. And so we, there's not a lot of opportunities for people to interact with us. But, uh, these physical things that we give people can be, there's sort of this like tangible transference that can happen. We have sort of our, our values and our mission and our purpose and we're here to serve our customers and so there's no pressure for the brand to have to perform in any sort of way, which, which, which means that we can just be creative and, 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 and uh, find the best ways to serve our customers. And so I feel like that's a, that's a big part of what has enabled the MailChimp brand to, to sort of become uh, what it's become. I, there's no way that the MailChimp brand would have become the MailChimp brand without the, the sort of, um, that really rich environment of um, like support and protection and, um, you know, a, a sort of financial situation where we didn't have to worry about just, you know, getting our investors their money back or whatever. I do think that um, having, a, having a point of view and, 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 um, and being creative, uh, it helps get people's attention. It helps um, develop an affinity for MailChimp, you know, before maybe they even need MailChimp. But I also think of the brand as being sort of the whole experience of MailChimp, right? So it's not just you know, the fun things we're doing on social or the ad campaign. It's like, it's really just like the, the, the feeling someone has about, about you or about your product or what they say about you when you're not there. And so the brand is like the, the support experience. It's the product experience. It's, um, it's seeing the ad. It's all of those things together. And so, yeah, I think um, for MailChimp, the, the, the product was a huge part of it. The 
um, the pricing strategy was a was just like rocket fuel for us, and then the brand was just like um, I don't know, it was just like this uh, delicious thing that was just like you know a bonus. It was like wow, and they're cool. Like they, you know, <laughs> like they actually they seem to care about this, and they seem to the um, they seem to really really believe the things that they say, and like that's always been a, a big part of what's important to us as well. It's like we want we want to come across as being genuine, and and um, and we and we we try to we work really hard to try to to prove that to people, you know, that we're not just uh, you know we're not just a big company now that's got a bunch of money. Like we we re we genuinely care about the success of our customers and. We know that it's hard to be a small business. We know that it's super hard to be out on your own, and it's not all just like you know. Hey, I sold my company for hundred million dollars. Like the the average experience is like way way harder than that, and we have a lot of empathy for that. We want to we want to show people that. <laughs>